like a drink at the bar. Yes, exactly. What's up? Not much. Breathing. We have not started yet, actually. Yeah, we start. Um, we start late August. We're a mid-season release. We'll probably be released sometime January next year. Um, but I'm super. I have not, honestly have not stopped thinking about it. I'm a kind of guy who work. Who when he's working is the best person he can be. So I'm just kind of excited to start this thing. Impatient is probably the best word to describe it. But I'm ready. Oh, we knew when we were filming it. So first off, Roberto and our director Lee Krieger had a super solid film noir, classic kind of elemental uh, vision of this Archie, um, this Riverdale, Meta. We knew when we were filming it by the huge budget on atmospheric fog that it was going to be a, a moody time. Um, yeah, I knew. I have a really hard time watching myself, so I, I was like, for everything. Or hearing my voice is like, you know, hearing your your own voice machine, which is weird and nasally. I'm a lot nasalier in person, I didn't realize. But I know I'm really excited with the way it turned out. And I'm really excited that people have been talking about it, buzzing about it. You know, Archie is one of these universes that is so multiplicitous that it you can just have a different iteration of the Archie comic fit in, and the audience is primed for that. I mean, we have Afterlife with Archie, we have um, The Punisher comes to one of the old digests, we have The Predator. So, it's not like there is a single version of any of these characters that really exists, and we're giving the fans something that's new and unique, and uh, it's still fundamentally similar to the way they once were, but with a cool film noir tweak. I do. Yes. KJ and I are legitimately best buddies. It's actually, I, you know, when you get onto a set, it can be really nerve-wracking that you won't get along with the cast. The uh, successful shows rise and fall because of ill relationships made throughout castmates. And I didn't, I, I didn't expect him to be such a cool guy. I thought he was going to be like a super broy dude. I saw a picture of his Twitter where he had like a Red Bull in each arm and was flexing. I was like, up. Oh. Here we go. Okay. But no, we're two peas in a pod. It's almost uncanny. We're, it's really awesome. I, I hope that, you know, our our friendship, our relationship on the show is a little tenuous in the beginning, but I really hope that, that the way that we interact in real life shines through when, when we start repairing that friendship over the season. Yeah. I, the way I have been thinking of it is, again, because Archie is so multiplicitous, the cast of Archie is kind of just like a theater troupe, and it's just going around to different to different worlds. I mean, if if we can accept that zombies come to Riverdale, I don't I don't think it's too far a stretch to accept that it can be a little more film noir and um, something like that. I, I think. We have all, first off, Roberto is the lead creative officer of the actual Archie comic books. So, it, you, you can't divorce Archie from this, ever. But you also have all of the side characters that people love. We have Moose and Midge and Dilton. We have Pop's Diner. You know, we have Pop's Hate. We, all the cast is still there, so that makes it fundamentally Archie. And we're just inserting them into a brick-like film noir teen drama. Uh, did I? Oh, was it? Oh, I'm ready for my close up? Yeah, of course. Brick. I mean, Brick is really the biggest inspiration. And, and he. Cool. Jughead's character is very much Joseph's character. He, that that is almost is almost one for one. We're taking huge cues from that character for Jeff. So yeah, I've been doing my research a lot. I've been watching a lot of film noirs just to gear up for you know over and over again.